Welcome. 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 Excellent. Good morning. I want to welcome you to our church meeting together, which um, is being done in worship. Now, today we're looking forward, thinking forward, hoping, imagining, considering, and prayerfully, I hope, looking past Christmas into 2025. Now, agendas went out for the meeting. There are a few copies over by Dia. At some point, it'd be really good to make sure you've signed in. Sign in um, over by the offering board for our, uh, our, 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 our church offering for its anniversary for Open Doors. Whether you're a member or not, please do sign in. Um, just so we know who was here. But we're, we're looking forward past Christmas into 2025. And the purpose today is we're thinking about what we might join with God in becoming as a church family next year. What might grow what's new? And that really links into the scripture that we're at as a family in Sundays and the sermon series from John's Gospel because we're in John 15 and in John 15 verse 1 Jesus says I am the true vine and you are my branches and my father he is the vine dresser God the vine dresser who shapes his kingdom through Jesus into the world. So that's what we're thinking about a little bit, and we're going to um, hear a little bit about our future in terms of what we know about our budget next year. We've got the dates for the events that we've got coming up to invite people to to the end of the year, but we're also going to be thinking a little bit practically about what might we be part of what God is doing in 2025. What new things might happen? What might grow in us? But we're gonna we're gonna sing a song of worship. It's one for all ages. Um, we're gonna take up our offering as we as we sing this. And um, I just want you to think forward um, as we're in this place together today. I want you to think forward and have just a little question tick over in your mind as we worship, as we think together about the vine and the branches. And the question is this, is if you, and this is um, you individually, if you could grow or do anything, and I mean anything, for God in 2025 and beyond, what would that be? If you could say, God, next year, I want to bless your kingdom and do one thing, what would that be? You're not going to get asked, you're not going to get forced to write it down, but this question is a good one to say, to say, Lord, if I could do anything for you, I would do this. It's a question that I want us to have in the backs of our minds as we're thinking about being connected again to Jesus, the vine. So let that simmer in you. So let's stand together if you're able and we're going to sing and take up our offering as we sing a family song of worship, a very simple one. Uh, the wise man um, built his house upon the rock. So let's worship together. 